Hello everybody, this is uh, Junior Civil Engineer student Yavuz Selim. I want to welcome you to the Soil Mechanics class EN315 and EN316. I am really excited to get the chance to meet to each one of you on my YouTube channel. If you have any questions, shoot me an email and I know this is going to be a fun class. So, by way of the introduction, it's really important that we understand the geotechnical engineering as a historical perspective. Let's break up the title. What is the geotechnical? Geotechnical, soil mechanics and rock mechanics for design of foundations, retaining structures and uh, earth structures. And what is the geotechnical engineering? We have to what is the geotechnical and we can explain the geotechnical engineering is the subdiscipline of civil engineering that involves natural materials found close to surface of the earth. And this presentation we will interested in the a historical perspective. What is the soil mechanics? Again, let's break up the word group. What is the soil? Soil is defined as the an cement aggregate of mineral grains and decayed organic matter. This organic matter uh, defines solid particles with liquid and gas in the empty space between solid particles. Two civil engineers must study the properties of soil, uh, properties of soil, such as its origins, grain size distribution, ability to drain water, compressibility, shear strength, and the load bearing capacity. Depends on the, these informations, we can explain the soil mechanics. Soil mechanics is the branch of science that deals with the study uh, of the physical properties of soil and behavior of the soil uh, masses subjected to various types of forces. And the soil engineering is the application of the principle of soil mechanics to practical problems. Let's continue. Geotechnical engineering prior to the 18th century. Use of soil construction dates back to antiquity, such as the Niles River and the Tiger and Euphrates as a Mesopotamia and the five most important pyramids. Many of these structures were constructed on silt and the uh, soft clay layer. In some cases, the foundation pressure exceeds the load bearing capacity and of the soil and thereby caused extensive structural damage. In true engineering terms, geotechnical engineering began the 18th century. Probably the most famous example related to the soil bearing capacity. The most Famous examples are first one, Leaning Tower of Pisa and Tilting of the Gresanta Tower in Bologna. Based on the emphasis and the nature of study in the area of geotechnical engineering, the time span exempting uh, by Scampton 1985. Area of geotechnical engineering uh, from 1700s 
1900 to 1927 can be divided into four major periods. First period is pre-classical and second period is classical soil mechanics phase 2 and third period is classical soil mechanics phase 2 and the last one modern soil mechanics. period and then this period concentrated on studies relating to natural slopes and the their unit weights of various type of soil here the they are represented the user uh, some search say Henry or Hubert I'm not sure about that and Goethe studies the nature slopes of soil. He is the French loyal engineer. And other representers Bernard Forrest the Builder published a textbook for military and civil engineering in French. This textbook, a theory of lateral earth pressure on returning board, he also specified a soil classification system in the menu. Of course this classification is uh, depends on the unit weight and also this period uh, the first laboratory model test result retaining walls with sand backfill were reported uh, French engineer Gadra. Particularly, all theoretical concentration used in calculating lateral earth pressure on retaining walls uh, were based on an arbitrarily based failure surface in soil. In the famous paper presented here, where is the French scientist? Clomb to use the principle of calculus for maximum and minimum to determine the curve position of the sliding surface in soil behind the returning walls. And our representative is the Poncelet. Magnitude of the lateral load pressure on vertical and inclining returning walls. First, to use the sample V and the this represented the four soil fraction angel and first ultimate bearing capacity theory for shallow foundation and our representative is Rankin. Rankin's theory is the application of Columns theory. And third period is classical soil mechanics phase two. Several experimental results from the laboratory test on sand appeared in the literature in this play. Darcy published a study on the permeability of sand. This period keyword is basically related with the sand. In this period, result of research conducted on clays were published in which the fundamental properties and parameters of clay were established. The most notable uh, publication are given the table. Atterberg, Frontard, Bell, Alanius, and last one, Carl Terzak. Geotechnical engineering after 1927. Carl von Terzak is known as the father of modern soil mechanics or acts of God. Conducted research and taught in Istanbul. The publication of Earth by Mechanics, we can translate to Earth Mechanics, uh, gave birth to a new era in the development of soil mechanics.
and the first conference, the International Society of Soil Mechanics and Foundation Engineering, ESSMFA, uh, was held at Harvard University with Carl Terzaki presiding. That is the end of the presentation and feel free to send me email and add me to your professional network. So thank you for your time and have a wonderful week.